Can you believe it? Our 115th episode, and it's gonna be it's gonna be the bomb. I'm telling you what, man. Uh, you know, if you're new to us, it's MC, uh, as in Michael Cole, Facebook Live, in search of awesome. We're well into our second year, and things are going really well. I've got a special guest tonight, Miss Laura Carmichael. Before I even bring it on, just make her feel welcome. Will you guys just give it up for you uh, big time? Um, she's, we're going to engage in a conversation. I just love how she thinks. She's just a, a social media a uh, guru, a redkin artist, a, you know, like a hair Jedi. She's a social media ninja. Like, she's got it all going. And so uh, I, I can't wait to bring her out. She's from Rio Hair Studio, Jacksonville, Solano and Misty. I love her. I was actually in their place a couple of years ago. And uh, Summit Coach Charmaine, give it up for Charmaine because she's always helping people to make big fun Um She's, you can see why I had her here tonight, you guys. 2014 was really her first year in, uh, at Rio. And look at the ride. I mean, it's nothing short of extraordinary. So from 214, 45, she's trending to crack the infamous $100,000 barrier, man. That's called like big boom boom to the 10th power. 32 hours a week, level 4A. She, like I said, she's a Bali Lama. 30, only 30 years old. I mean, she's in places that people don't even get to one third of that in, a, you know, a 40 year ride. So God bless. Uh, she does um, average service day. Can you get this man, Rand man at $1,500? Average service ticket is 170. Her women's haircut is 54. That's like a, a sticker of three point something. Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know you can give it up. Um, she basically, you know, when you're crammed, rammed, and jammed with that many guests, you are really the referral rainmaker. So there's just an enormous amount of referrals that she's generating from uh, her movements on social. And uh, frankly, a lot of the people in uh, at Rio uh, benefit from it. Rebooking 90%, RTS 15 points. What else can I tell you about her? She's going to come and, you know, basically tell the story. But, uh, you know, graduates high school 06 from 07 to 11. She does some... Uh, college, graduates from hair school in uh, 2012, Rio then, and you, you know the ride, right? And um, her social media thing is nothing short of extraordinary. iPhone 7 Plus, she's in the game. 3,000 followers on her Instagram at, at Laura underscore Carmichael. 100% uh, of the guests following. The overwhelming majority of referrals are coming in because of uh, what she does on both Instagram as well as Facebook. Um, you know, 25 guests a week, six photo shoots a week, 15 pics per shoot, three poses. And uh, most uh, of her guests are either reposting their selfies and, and for sure tagging her because she's got it covered on all bases. So what we're going to do tonight is uh, I'm going to bring her on, as I always do. She's in our green room. And uh, we'll spend a few minutes of having her talk to us about, you know, her story. And then uh, I'm, we're going to do some uh, social media chat. So uh, keep your fingers crossed. I want to make sure that the Wi-Fi gods are, are working big time. And there she is. Why don't you give it up for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Laura. Hi, Michael. Thank you for having me. Oh, are you kidding? Thanks. For, I know I didn't tell him on, in the world, but you guys, you got to know that Laura had a very, very big day and she like rushed to, to be here and she's got a family going on. She's got a lot going on. So thanks a lot for <laughs> hanging out with us. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, uh, listen, we, as we always do, people are always interested in, you know, Laura before this. You know, right. so you had a life before you decide to do hair and, and that you've been on a great journey. So give us that piece of what your life was like before you decide to do this deal. Yeah, so I was absolutely known for always starting projects like life projects and never really finishing them. Kind of like I never really found what um, I was meant to do. And my attention span was always just too short for things. So I graduated high school and decided I want to be a veterinarian went to college for biology, realized I didn't want to be a veterinarian anymore. I wanted to be a scientist. So pursued my bachelor's in biology, dropped out, um, mainly because it was just really hard to support myself with this, like the stress of a lab class and a science class and a science major. So I thought, you know, bartending really isn't kind of what I want to do anymore. It was hindering my education. My thought process was literally like this. I said, maybe I'll go do hair or something. 
is exactly how I said it. Mm -hmm. So I toured the Paul Mitchell school and realized that it's not just doing hair or something. There was actually like this whole vibe to it and it was really captivating and capturing. Um, started hair school with all intentions of going back to school for biology, but I never really made it back. And it really just like stole my heart. And I, it just, I don't know how to describe it. It was a feeling that I knew that this was something that I was going to finish. <laughs> I guess you could say. Yeah. So you, it's a wonderful, like a wonderful ride to, you decide you're going to pursue the calling with what touches the soul. So, so that you, you enroll in school, you graduate and then something big happens to Laura. She meets Misty. We got the real thing going, and there, that that was a definable moment that kind of changed the trajectory of your life. Tell us about that. Yeah, so let's go back just a little bit to where when I did graduate hair school, it's like, okay, what now? Um, I immediately started booth renting because I honestly didn't really know any better. Um, I was extremely lost. I had never been good at business. Um, I, I, read, I had no mentors in the industry at the time to really show me how to A, pay my own taxes and B, keep my own supply, that kind of thing. And I was failing miserably, like absolutely failing miserably. I felt like I was spending more on rent and color than I was ever taking home. And it was just really hard for me to manage. And one of my friends actually came to get her hair done while at the studio I was running at. And she was like, you know, I was just kind of venting to her. And she was like, you know, you really need to come and to Rio, just come and take a look. I'll set up a meeting for you with Misty, who was the owner, and just talk to her, just give her a chance. And I was like, okay. And I did that and was absolutely blown away about how their business was run. And it was just so attractive. Everything about it was. Yeah. You, you, uh, when you and I were chatting, it was like, she shows you the, the business plan, which is basically the level charts and, you know, the planners and all the coaching and all that. And it's like, you know, so it, in that moment, there's this OMG that, you know, hey, this could represent a great living for myself. And by then, I think you're on the front end of beginning your fam. Yeah. So that, oh my God moment was when she actually showed me, I know Summit has like a graph or a table about your projected income for entry level, level one, level two, level three. And then I saw the level four number, 4A at 100K, and I was like, no way is literally how I felt. I was like, there's no way, but um, there is a way. But that to me, just to see that in writing and that there was almost like a roadmap to success is where that's when I felt I needed, I needed that help and I needed that push. And mostly I needed the guidance and a support with that to kind of help me guide yeah. that. And, and I'm just, I'm loving this because she shows you that on day one. And, Day one. And, and, and you're on a five year trajectory. So, you know, on your fifth year, you're going to hit that that one that six figure deal. And it's five years. So like you're you're in a place after five, frankly, that's twice or more than people that have been on the path for 25, 30 years. So the question that begs to be asked, Laura, is it's really apparent your life's been transformed. I mean, you're you're larger than life. What's it like to be Laura now compared to what it was like, you know, five, six, seven, eight years ago? Oh my gosh. So it's completely different. So I got married probably three years out of high school. So my husband has definitely been on this journey with me. He was in Afghanistan when I went to hair school. And when he came home, it, that's when I found out I was pregnant. And honestly, our story was just very like, everything was very minimal. We had a really hard time adjusting when he came home. I had, a, I didn't know what to, what I wanted to do as far as like my career with hair or anything like that. And we just honestly struggled for a couple of years. Never in my life did I think that I could build my own house. And that actually happened this year. We built right. our own house, just moved in in February. And if you were to ask me that five or six years ago, I just never saw that for my future at all. We literally used to pay our rent on credit cards Yeah. back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Like that's how we kind of like got by. So it, it's, it's insane. So my life now, how's it be Laura now, is pretty freaking awesome. Um, may, I mean, every life always has its struggles, but when I talk about being comfortable and just grateful, and I don't regret anything that we went through because honestly, it kind of what humbles us now and just makes us so much more grateful for the things that we have now because of where we started. And it's interesting because we actually moved, built this house on the side of town that we um, first got married in, but this 
that house was kind of very, I don't know, it was just scary and different. So it's just nice to see the growth. Oh my God. And this is the coolest part about the, the message that you just gave us is that as you're, st as you're, you're describing the way your life used to be in past mm -hmm. tense, there's people that are watching it going, no, no, that she's describing my life, you know, RFM, yeah. like right freaking now. And then you have this moment or these moments where somebody shows you what's possible and you embrace it, you believe it. And, and in that moment, while you're talking about that moment for you, and that's a past tense. I mean, that was five plus years ago. Like tonight, people will hear that, some of them, and they'll go, I want that. And that, that, that would not happen without your testament. And then when you're saying, look, five years later, I mean, my husband and I, we've been on, you know, it's been excruciatingly wonderful. You know, right. Kind of, That's a great way to put it. Oh my God. And so <laughs> what you, what you've done is you've given people vision and, and hope. So it's just, I'm getting, I get goosebumps when I listen, when I listen to your story, it's, it's an extraordinary story. So the question, Laura, is to, for people that have heard the story and going, look, I want that. I, I want to, I'm going to like, as of like now, I want to get on the path that she was on because she was not on that path and it changed. What might you say to them tonight that would give them hope and belief because a lot of people are just plagued with self-doubt. What I would say to you is like, um, honestly, never give up on self-growth. And so when I say never give up on self-growth, I'm usually talking about um, do some research on the law of attraction and really try to fully embrace it and practice it. Um, I've always done vision boards. Like even at my lowest point, I would do a vision board and it would be a one, and when I first started, it would just be like month goals because looking to the future was just way too like anxiety driven for me. So it would be one month, five month and 12 month would be my vision board. Now my vision board is five, 10, 15, because I know that by putting what I want out into the universe, I will be able to achieve it and get it no matter how far out it is. So um, with that, no. to also live your greatest life, you must become a leader within yourself. And so that's why I always say, don't ever give up on self-growth and don't ever stop working on yourself. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna ask you for your best practice, but before I do that, we wanna, you know, like, because that was an extraordinary, extraordinary <laughs> story. So let, we got a few, you know, three, four minutes. I want you to give us a taste as to, uh, I, I, I watched you evolve on social media and you're doing some really cool stuff. In a nutshell, what would you call that best practice? I know you've even integrated a little bit of the law of attraction into that. Yeah. So if I could just sum it up in two words, um, visual branding is gonna be the utmost important thing when creating a social media platform that is attractive to others. You want a style that is unique to you. For example, um, I follow quite a few different artists who when I'm scrolling through the feed, I can tell that's their picture before reading their caption, if that makes sense. So yes. those artists are creating a visual brand for themselves. Um, also consistency and keeping up with it. They always say post once a day, at least post once a day, focus on the right times of posting and for your demographic and location that's different for everyone. But um, there's apps that show you insights for that kind of stuff as well. I'm um, trying to think here. No, branding consistency. no I, I think I think you've captured it. Like as I yeah. as I listen to you talk about that part, and I'm always on the receiving end of learning from you and, and your craft. I couldn't help but just uh, just see. Gee, Laura's like applying the the principle or the law of attraction to social media, envisioning the type of clientele you want, the the type of ticket, the type of look. Uh, you know, using your photography you, you, and as a way of, you know, visually branding that, uh, you know, staying close to uh, other people that are doing it, right? And then you said something about don't pay attention to as much attention to algorithms, but just really stay focused on what you want. So talk a little bit about that part. Yes. So, um, when, cause I teach for Redken as well. And so we always have, um, social media segments in our classes. And I feel like the most common denominator of challenges with social media is people are always complaining about the algorithm. And my response to that is stop focusing so much on fighting an algorithm because if 
you, that's what you're putting into the universe. So you're constantly just going to have this upbeat battle of this algorithm and just do you and focus on what you want to market and how you want to market yourself. If you love blondes and if that is your thing, post a ton of awesome blondes and that's what's going to come and sit in your chair. If you love vivid hair color, post unicorn hair all the time. And then that is the the reach that you're going to get. Does that make oh, sense? Ab absolutely. Wonderful. Well, listen, I, I just l really enjoyed hanging out with you tonight. I want to, I want to thank you. Uh, we're, we're on the back end of what we're uh, of our time. So I want to stay close to you to see uh, how much you crush the six figure barrier, because we're going to blink and we're going to bring into the, into the fall in Q3 and Q4. So can I check in with you and then report back to the world? You know, did, did you, or did you not crush it? Or I should say, how much did you crush it by? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. All right. Well, we're going to give it up for you one more time. I'll, I'm going to end it and then I'll, I'll catch up with you on the back end. Okay, thank you so much, Michael. Oh, thank you, Liz. Stay well. What an extraordinary, extraordinary interview, you guys. I mean, I, you know, like she, I think the essence of genius uh, is simplicity. And she, she keeps it very, very simple. You know, I could, I could tell that she, uh, she, she really uh, is, is a follower of, you know, I call them the laws of life, whether, we're, you know, you, you receive what you believe, you know, what we want in life to the degree that we become the person it takes to get it, we attract it. You know, you don't really pursue success, you attract it. And then she applies it to uh, social media. I mean, I just love what she said, that less concerned with the algorithms. You, you can get so anal about that and so worried. And she's saying, look, it, once you're your vision board and you focus on what you want, uh, be more concerned with these client, the clients you want, and 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 attract them through visual branding, photography, continuity, consistency. So it was just an extraordinary interview. Give it up for one more time, Are you guys. And uh, her fan club, it looks like her, her husband, Jay, says, hey, hey, good way to go, babe. So, Jay, she knocked it out, man. She knocked it out of the park, and, and she made big move to the 10th power. So, um, in finalizing, if you're new to hanging out with us, this is the page you want to be living on, Michael Cole Summit, because we, we Facebook Live this. And tonight was our very first night that we went to Instagram. Uh, and uh, that's the same handle. So we're, we're starting to use uh, Instagram Live as well and uh, doing way more blogging on both of those platforms. So Sarah Lawrence, you'll have to check that out as well. Um, and, and, and if you, we, I really want to invite you to, uh, you know, uh, get on uh, summitsalon.com and just kind of live on that website because there's a lot of cool stuff there. We got a social media uh, virtual coaching team now. So if, it, it's, so if you're a salon owner and you've got, you know, like half your staff in the social game and the other half are just, they're intimidated, um, call us up, get you a, 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 a free virtual uh, coaching session. And uh, we're always enrolling people in our uh, virtual um, uh, social media training class, uh, uh, social media boot camp. So you can call the 800 or just uh, on uh, summitsalon.com. That'll give you more information as well. While you're on the .com, make darn sure that uh, you hit summitsalon.com slash mclive because all of the uh, interviews have been uh, recorded, edited, um, I, I think one of our editors, Brandy's on in the house tonight, and uh, thank you, Brandy, for the, you, uh, uh, you, you, the, the work that, uh, that, uh, that you do in helping us distill this into uh, micro-learning uh, with uh, your partner, Sarah, uh, uh, or shall I say, Ren, right? And, uh, and, and if it, you know, hey, watch these. Turn your car into a classroom, um, you know, go ahead and Bluetooth your, your, your mobile device to the car and listen to them as a podcast. You don't have to watch these uh, to uh, make that work. While you're there, the over-the-top book is really the script book on just, you know, how you uh, communicate to the clients. But the biggie now is we have a social media planner. The planner now is as much about planning to fill your openings uh, by posting as it is about upselling clients that are in your chair today. So I hope you take us up on the offer. We have a brand new feature now uh, if you scroll the homepage, mobile calcs, 
uh, we have a whole bunch of mobile calcs that turn setting uh, a one-year goal, financial goal, and it breaks it down automatically. So there's no math involved anymore to what we call the magic number. Uh, what do I need to do on my average day to hit any annual goal that I want? So you have much, and, and uh, uh, you, she was, uh, you know, uh, referring that, that, Laura was referring to that tonight as well. Uh, in addition to that, um, you can measure what you treasure because we have a tracking app. You guys, all this stuff is for free. So you're going to want to take advantage of this as well. Uh, and if you are new to Summit and you're a salon owner, I would really uh, encourage you. We've got a lot of uh, um, salon-centric sales consultants on this evening. Sarah Lawrence is in the house, and she's just, I think she's probably up to 25, 30 salons now that she's plugged into the Summit. So call her in and people like that to give you a, we, we call it a scorecard, kind of where your salon has been in sales and, and where it's at now. And then we can help you to take that up a, a, a few notches and actually show you how that can uh, tr dramatically transform your culture, your bottom line. So I hope you take us up on that uh, as well. Listen, we're, we're out of time, but as I always do, I like to express gratitude to L'Oreal uh, PPD. These are all of their brands. We've got Redken, we've got Matrix, we've got L'Oreal Professional, we've got Baxter, Kerastase, Essie Mazzani, Purology, Shu. We got them all, and these are the, the, the brands that uh, we support because of their financial support. We can continue to bring uh, what we think is just state-of-the-art online training to you so that you can continue to uh, make a big boom. boom. Uh, so thank you, Salon Centric. Thank you, State Beauty. Thank you, Promart. These are the distribution arms of L'Oreal PPD. So partner with them. Do business with them. They're good souls. And last but not least, Summit Salon Business Center. I know Randy Kunkel is watching and, and the team. We've got uh, Heather B. and, and uh, David Kirby and, and Peter uh, uh, Mahoney and Glenn Baker. Uh, you know, who else? Uh, we got Galvin Salisbury, who was on last week. We got Christy V., Mary Cole, Sharon Kunkel. I mean, there's the, the, the whole shareholder team, and now we got other share. I mean, it goes on and on and on. So thank you for uh, this thing just continues to grow. So thank you to them all. It was a wonderful show. We got another great one for you next week. Marty Van Wagner, got, good to have you in the house as well. I'm going to formally say good night.